Today, I'm using the all-time Colorado Rockies in MLB The Show 22. And you know we had to wear the Colorado All-Star Game jacket? This for real is like one of my favorite pieces of clothing I own. Before I show you guys the offense, I have to bring up this pitching staff because this pitching staff is nowhere near as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Everybody knows the Rockies are not known for their arms considering they play in Coors Field. And I'm not saying this is the best pitching staff all-time teams have seen, but this is significantly better than I thought they were gonna be. This team is not bad on the pitching front. But now, of course, the all-time Rockies offense. Might look weird to see Nolan Arenado playing out of position at second, and that's because this Vinny Castilla card is screwing up everything. This dude can only play third base, and if I put him out of position over at second base, he gets 48 fielding, Whereas if I put Arenado over there, he gets 59. Then again, fielding at third base might be more important. I don't know, after that last video where everything was hit to Vlad at second base, I don't trust it. But this all-time Rockies offense is really good. A lot of power on this team, a lot of good hitters. I'm kind of feeling good about this all-time Rockies team. Kind of sucks I'm on the road for this game. I really wanted to play at Coors Field, but... Laughing Mountain is basically Coors Field with a minor league backdrop. 3-1, come on, story. I don't like where that release point is on a fastball high. In the, air to ah! the fastball was the pitch to hit, but I couldn't see it. It's kind of funny. The last video was the all-time Nationals, and I wore their City Connect uniforms because those are my favorite ones. And then we go straight to the Rockies, who have, in my opinion, the worst City Connect uniforms. Go, go, go. Two bases, Larry. That's what I'm talking about. I know some people love those Rocky uniforms. I can't stand them. I think they look so dumb. Like, I understand what it is with, like, the license plate and all that stuff. I get it. I just don't think it looks good on a baseball jersey. Arenado! Way out of here! How far was that? 477! Dante. Dante, 460, <laughs> 900 feet of home runs in the first inning. That may get down. No, that's probably getting caught. Oh, it's not. Can we get three bases? Can we get three bases, Todd Helton? What a stud. Look at the wheels. Come on, Chuck. I don't want to leave him at third. Get through there. Yes, Chuck. Way to deliver with two outs. That's a great first inning for the all-time Rockies. I am going Herman Marquez. I wish he would have gotten a better card at some point this year, but it is what it is. I'm also not going to be afraid to cycle through my pitchers like fairly quickly in this game, too. Arenado. Arenado. Dude, this is crazy. I get it when it's Vlad, but Arenado can't field that. That's right to him. Come on. Okay, this has to be two. This has to be two. One, two. What a play from Trevor Story. Great pitch. Yo, very strong start on both sides for this team. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I just went yard with Herman Marquez. I just went yard with Herman Marquez. Replay, 97, inner third, 426 feet. What am I even looking at? And that's it for Shohei Otani. Five runs in one plus inning pitched. He's, I mean, you're kind of throwing that right over the middle. I know it's a line out, but that's not going to be a line out all the time. Nice swing, Nolan. Another extra base hit for him already. Do it again, Dante. Go crazy. Dante Bichette. Perfect, perfect. That's his second home run of the game and we're in the second inning this has every sign of mercy rule written all over it okay but i'm sorry i have to take this jacket off it is so hot in my office oh my god i can breathe so as always down in the comments let me know what player do you want to see added to mlb the show next year that would make the all-time rockies better when i initially sat down to record and i was thinking about that the first guy obviously was Carlos Gonzalez. Would love to see him back in the game, but honestly, this offense is, is pretty good. I feel like the offense doesn't need a ton of help. I'm going to go on the pitching side and say Ubaldo Jimenez. The thing with Jimenez is that a good card for him would only come from one season. It would come from his 2010 season where he finished third in the Cy Young voting. But that season was so good. And with retro finest cards, with milestone cards, with all these different ways that pitchers can be you know, 
juiced in MLB The Show, he would be an awesome addition to this team. And everybody, like I said in the beginning, only thinks of the Rockies for their bats. So that's why Ubaldo Jimenez would be a great addition because he would help balance out this team even more. But let me know in the comments who you want to see. Vinny. There you go, Vinny. Two shutout innings from Herman Marquez. We're going to get a rage quit right here. Yep, kind of figured that was approaching at some point. All right, well, let's do this again. This time, we actually do get to play at Coors Field. I will say, man, I really liked Coors Field. I, Colorado, or Denver, I should say, really didn't, it didn't really do much for me. I didn't really see much in Denver that I was all that crazy about, but Coors Field was awesome, man. Kind of had the same vibe almost as, like, Cleveland in a way, where the stadium just kind of had a great like energy it had, the stadium had like a, a, a charisma to it I, I don't know how to describe it but I really like the atmosphere here so I would definitely go to a game next time I find myself in Colorado for sure good pitch good pitch I knew that from the second I released it and there we go one two three let's get after it early again let's get another big first inning story that's two bases, three, if you're not careful out there in center field. This this could be. Ah, no, 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 no. I, I thought about it. Larry! Oh, I'm under it. I mean, at Coors Field, though, you never know. Max elevation, it could go. Well, at least I'm getting a third out of it. Ooh, walking Arenado to get to... Who's my four hitter? Is it Vinny Castilla? Dante Bichette. I need Dante to hit a three-run tank right here. Okay. And then I missed that. Oh, that's terrible. What a sad ending to such a promising inning. Got to deal with the bottom of the order this time. He's got Albert hitting seventh. Damn. Show some respect to Albert, man. Need to get a double play now, John Gray. Come on, buddy. Uh, we could do this. We could do this. We could do this. Double play. Nolan Arenado got it there. Let's try to super dot Tyler Anderson. Thank you very much. Hey, John Gray, all I'm saying is that Herman Marquez already went yard in this video. I'll take a hit, though. I'll take a hit. God dang it. Okay, we're back to the top of the order. Come on, we got to get a run on the board here. Rio, I may go green light here. I'm going green light. Perfect, perfect Trevor Story. Dead center. Trevor Story, filthy against left-handed pitching. Rio count with a lefty on deck. Perfect time to give him the green light. Top four. I'm going to be careful. I I, I just kind of have like a, a slight vibe that he had a bunt in the back of his mind with Trey Turner up here. All worked out. Vinny's got a great glove, except if you put him at second base. Tough play. Story's got 99 speed. Nothing's tough for him. A line out. Look at this Rockies pitching staff. So far, that's what? Six shutout innings in this video? I'm very impressed with what I'm seeing from the arms so far in this video, but I, I need more than one run. Oh, what a play at third. Get out of here. Okay, I was about to say, literally his last 10 pitches have been a curveball. Like, you, you got other buttons on the controller, bro. He just keeps going with the curveball. Why is that the only pitch he's throwing right now? Come on, Chuck. Give me another lefty, lefty blast. Chuck! Perfect, perfect! What a swing! Chuck Nasty still got it. Dude, this Rockies team is so much fun. Ah, now he's throwing at him. Come on, John Gray. Just get into one right here, bro. If John Gray hits a home run, I'm ending the video. Okay, you guys get a little bit more gameplay. You're welcome. Just a long out number one. Funny thing is, I could go to my bullpen at any time, but I don't even need to because look at how John Gray is throwing the ball right now. Arenado, we going to make a play this time? There's the Arenado that I know. Is this guy about to let the pause timer go down? Is that, is that what I'm seeing right here? He's been waiting to change his pitcher for almost a minute at this point. I have a feeling this pause timer is going to go to zero, and he's either going to try to do the friendly quit thing, or he's just going to let it run out. I don't know. Yep, coming up on the last 10 seconds now. Um, Looks like this one's over. Would I like to forfeit their game? You know what? 
Yes, I would. I'm gonna call it after that one. I'm not gonna jump into another game. We kind of get the idea of what this all-time Rockies team is about. This is a really good offense with a better pitching staff than you might initially think. Only four teams remain on the all-time team's wheel. The White Sox, Brewers, Yankees, and Guardians. Let's see who's coming up next. In the next episode, we have the Cleveland Guardians.